in a comfortable position. So finding your seat, and we'll begin today's practice with your eyes closed. And we're just going to breathe to start off. I'm just taking these breaths to start to make the separation between the rest of your day and the beginning of your yoga practice. And as you breathe, feel the air going into your body and feel what happens to the musculature of your chest, down into your belly as you breathe without forcing the air in or pushing the air out. Noticing the sounds that your breath makes. Maybe noticing the texture of the air as you inhale and how it changes when you exhale. And it's in the process of observing all of these tiny things with something as ordinary as breathing that you bring your mind into your body's time which is always in the present. So bring a little bit more intention into your breath. So as you inhale, your spine gets a little bit taller. And then as you exhale, tuck your belly button into your spine and up towards your heart. Inhale, raising both hands up over your head. And then exhale, reaching your fingertips out to the sides, metering your breath until your lungs are empty and your fingers find the floor. Once they find the floor, pushing out all the air at the bottom until you're fully empty. And then inhale again, raising both hands back up, sipping in a little bit more at the top. On the exhale, reaching fingertips out to the sides, all the way until your lungs are empty, pushing out all the air at the bottom. Hold the exhale for a moment. And then inhale, raising both hands back up towards the ceiling. One more time, exhale, reaching both hands out, stretching your fingertips as far as you can to either side of the room, grounding out at the floor. One more time, inhaling, raising both hands back up towards the ceiling, sipping in a little bit at the top. And then exhale, folding over at the waist, down into an easy forward fold. Just letting your hands support you on the floor, and then letting your forehead drop down towards the ground. And then taking in a few deep breaths here and just kind of noticing where the air goes when there's no room for your belly to expand. Slowly walking both hands over to the left side, just about as far as feels comfortable. So you feel that stretch through your right hip and your right ribs, taking a deep breath. And with a long exhale, soften over your left thigh. Slowly walking both hands all the way over to the right side. Again, just about as far as feels good. Taking a deep breath and with a big exhale, soften over your right leg. One more time, walking both hands back towards the middle. You bring your fingertips out a hair further than they were the first time you were in the center. Taking a deep breath with a nice exhale. <sighs> and slowly push yourself all the way back up into a tall sitting position. Inhale, raising both hands up over your head. You're going to turn your whole body to the right side. And bring your left hand down towards your right knee. You're going to plant your right hand behind your lower back. 
Inhale into a tall spine and then exhale to twist to look over your right shoulder. As you inhale, your spine gets a little bit taller. As you exhale, twisting just a little bit deeper. Two more breaths here. Slowly rotating back to the middle, bringing both hands up to the sky. And turning your whole body to the left. Bring your right hand down to your left knee. Bring your left hand behind your lower back. Inhale into a straight spine, and then exhale to twist to look over your left shoulder. As you inhale, your spine gets a little bit taller. As you exhale, use that right hand to twist just a little bit deeper. Two more breaths here. Slowly rotating back towards the center, bringing both hands up towards the sky. And then dropping your right hand down to the ground, reaching your left arm over your head, and using that right arm to bend at the elbow to extend through your rib cage, and then rolling your left shoulder blade back so you can take the gaze up towards the ceiling underneath your left armpit. On an exhale, squeeze from the obliques to come up, bringing both hands to the sky, and then switching sides. Bring your left hand down towards the ground, reaching your right arm over your head, and then rolling that right shoulder blade over the left so your heart's looking up towards the ceiling, and then extending those right fingertips out just a little bit further. Coming back up towards center, bringing both hands to the sky, Exhale, bring your both hands down to the mat, and we'll make your way onto hands and knees on the floor. So with your fingertips spread wide underneath your shoulders and your knees underneath your hips, you're going to come into cat and cow. So inhaling to look up, dropping your belly down to the mat, and then exhaling, curving your spine up towards the ceiling, drawing your chin towards your navel. and moving at your own breath here, so don't listen to my cues. Just as long as you're inhaling to look up, and then exhaling to make that big curve through your spine. Try and make the breath as slow as possible, and the movement as slow as possible, so you can really bring your attention into the muscles all along your spine, and into your lower back, into your hips. Then all the way up into your shoulder girdle and the muscles in your upper back and neck. We'll I'll do one or two more passes up and down. And then eventually we'll meet in a nice neutral spine. And planting your left hand down into the mat, we're going to raise your right arm up towards the ceiling, rolling through your shoulder blade, taking a deep breath, and then on the exhale, we're going to thread your right arm underneath your left to bring your right ear down towards the mat and your right shoulder on the floor. And then you can use that left arm to either provide a little bit of support or gently push to make the twist a little bit deeper. Again, inhaling deep, uh, exhaling very deeply. And then pushing off your left hand, raising your right arm back up towards the ceiling, rolling through the shoulder blade, taking a deep breath, and then on the exhale, thread that right arm underneath again to bring your right ear down towards the ground. This time bringing a little bit of movement into your hips. So wagging your hips back and forth and just seeing how that changes the stretch.
One more time, pressing your left hand into the mat, raising your right arm up towards the ceiling, and coming back onto all fours. Spreading your fingertips wide, so you're pressing your right hand into the mat. We're going to raise your left arm up towards the ceiling, rolling through the shoulder girdle, taking a deep breath. And then on the exhale, thread your left arm underneath your right to bring your left ear down towards the mat. Letting your head and shoulder rest heavy on the floor, taking a deep breath with a long exhale. Two more breaths here. And then pushing off your right hand, raising your left arm up towards the ceiling, rolling through the shoulder blade. Taking a deep breath. And then on the exhale, again, threading that left arm underneath until your left ear finds the floor. And using that right arm to provide support, or you can push it into the mat or your hand to come to the stretch a little bit deeper. Creating a gentle wag in your hips, like as if you had a big tail. And then pressing your right hand into the mat, raising your left arm back up towards the sky one last time. And coming back onto all fours. So with your knees under your hips and your fingertips spread wide, we're going to reach your right arm out in front of you. So your biceps is in line with your ear. And taking the gaze straight down to the floor, we're going to push your left heel straight back behind you, flexing at the foot. Taking a deep breath, and on the exhale, connect elbow to knee under your body. And then inhale to extend, reaching out through your fingertips all the way through your heel. Exhale to connect. Inhale to extend. One more time making the connection. One more time extending and reaching out and then coming back onto all fours. Take a moment to resettle, and then reaching your left arm out in front of you, so your left biceps in line with your left ear, taking the gaze straight down to the floor and pushing your right heel straight back behind you, keeping your belly button tight towards your spine. As you exhale, draw your knee to your elbow under your body. Inhale to extend, reaching out. Exhale to connect. Inhale to extend. Exhale to connect. One more time reaching out and coming back onto all fours. Bring your big toes together with your knees out to either side of the mat. You're going to rest your bum all the way down onto your heels and walking your fingertips out in front of you so your forehead is resting down on the floor for child's pose. And then tenting your hands, so raising your palms up off the floor so your fingertips are just on the mat. You're going to gently push your bum down towards your heels. And then pressing your palms into the floor, we're going to curl under your toes and come into first downward dog of the class. So for first downward dog, it can be a little bit organic. You can kind of pedal your heels. Creating any little movements in your body that you need to kind of Enhance that mind-body connection. Just kind of take stock of what feels tight, what feels good. Shake your head loose. And we'll stay here for two more breaths. slowly walking your feet towards your hands. We'll all find ourselves in a nice, easy forward fold. Letting your head and your arms relax. You can shake out your head. Go! Gonna wag your hips side to side. And then bending at the knees, scooping your tailbone underneath your body. We're gonna curl one vertebrae at a time, all the way up to standing. And inhale, raising both hands up over your head. Exhale, hands down by your sides. Again, inhale, raising both hands up. And then exhale to fold down into your forward fold, keeping your back straight 
until you come all the way down, letting your head and arms relax. Inhale, lengthen out through the crown of your head, flattening your back. And then exhale to walk yourself out into your plank. For first chaturanga, we'll lower down knees to the mat, keeping your elbows tight into your sides, lower chest and chin all the way down to the floor. And then pulling your body up gently into a baby cobra, keeping your elbows tight into your sides and your shoulders drawing away from your ears. Pushing off your hands and knees, coming all the way back into your child's pose. Taking in a deep breath to stretch out through your lats. And then curling under your toes to come into your downward facing dog. And this time holding the downward dog with a little bit more intention. So pressing your heels down to the floor behind you and pushing the backs of your knees to the world behind you. At the same time creating space between your shoulder blades. So broadening at your back and lengthening through your spine so your tailbone is reaching up towards the ceiling. Two more breaths here. Looking in between your hands, stepping your right foot forwards, followed by your left. Inhale, lengthen out through the crown of your head, flattening your back. Exhale, fold down a little bit deeper. And then inhale, coming all the way to standing, raising both hands up towards the sky. And then exhale, hands down by your sides. So again, inhale, raising both hands up. And then exhale to fold all the way down into your forward fold. Inhale, lengthen through your spine. Flattening your back. Exhale, stepping your right foot back, followed by your left into your plank. And either taking knees, chest, chin, or full high to low push up, chaturanga. Pulling forwards into your baby cobra or upward facing dog, whatever feels right for you. And then curl over your toes into your downward facing dog. Pressing your fingertips down into the mat, we're going to raise your right heel all the way up behind you. Pushing that heel as high up to the ceiling as you can. And then stepping that right foot through in between your hands for a low lunge. Pausing there for a moment, just giving a little rock front and back to gently open up that left hip flexor. Take a look over your right shoulder, so you roll through the hips. See how that changes the stretch. Take a look over your left shoulder. We're going to drop your back heel down to the mat at a 45 degree angle. Lengthen through your spine and then inhale to float all the way up into your warrior one. Drawing your right hip back and your left hip forwards and pushing the outside edge of your back foot into the floor. As you inhale, your pinkies reach up towards the ceiling and as you exhale, you kind of pull your heart forwards in between your arms and draw your belly button in towards your spine. We're opening up into your warrior two, reaching both hands out in either direction. And just taking a moment to see that the heel of your front foot is in line with the arch of your back foot. And adjust your stance if you need to. And then drive that right knee forwards just a little bit deeper as you extend both arms towards either side of the rim. Dropping your back hand down towards your back leg, you can reach your top arm over your head behind you. So you extend your right fingertips towards the world behind you, you're going to drive your right knee forwards to kind of open up that stretch between your right hip all the way to your right armpit. On the next exhale, we're going to bring your right elbow to your right knee. You're going to reach your left arm up towards the ceiling and then over your head towards the front of the room and roll your left shoulder blade over the right so your heart looks up towards the ceiling. Taking your gaze down to the toes in front of you, 
Then keep that back leg really strong and sweep your bottom arm underneath to grab onto a big golden ball of happiness. Extend it up to the ceiling and towards the back of the room. Reach it towards the front of the room as far as you can. One more time up into the back of the room. And then cartwheeling both hands down either side of your front foot. Walk yourself out into your plank and chaturanga, whichever form you prefer. Inhale into your upward dog or baby cobra if that feels better. And then curl over your toes into your downward dog. And just pausing for a moment to see if you can feel the difference from one side to the other after doing that little warrior sequence. Then raising your left heel all the way up behind you, pushing your left heel as high to the ceiling as you can while pushing your right heel down towards the ground. And then stepping that left foot through in between your hands for a low lunge. Stopping there for a moment, giving a little rock front and back, opening up your right hip flexor. Take a look over your left shoulder so you can see the world behind you. Just take a look over your right shoulder, see how that opens your hips. And then dropping your back heel down to the ground at about a 45 degree angle, lengthening through your spine and then floating all the way up into your warrior one. So pushing the outside edge of your back foot into the mat and then driving that right hip forwards and your left hip back. As you inhale, your pinkies come up a little bit higher. As you exhale, you kind of pull your heart forwards in between your hands and keep your core engaged. Two more breaths here, keeping that back leg really strong. And then opening up into your warrior two. Reaching both hands out to either side of the rim. Adjusting your stance if need be, so that your heel of your front foot is in line with the arch of your back foot. And then driving that left knee forwards just a little bit deeper as you extend both fingertips to either side of the room, broadening out your shoulders. And if you're ready, drop your back hand to your back leg, reaching your top arm over your head behind you. And taking your gaze underneath your armpit up towards the ceiling as you drive your left knee forwards. On an exhale, we'll bring your left elbow down to your left knee, reaching your right arm up towards the ceiling and then over your head towards the front of the rim. As you roll your right shoulder blade over the left so your heart looks up towards the ceiling. Bring your gaze down to your toes in front of you. You're going to reach that bottom arm underneath to grab onto your big ball of happiness. Extend it up to the ceiling and towards the back of the room. Reach it out towards the front of the room, passing it as far forwards as you can. One more time up into the back of the room. And then cartwheel both hands down either side of your front foot. Walk yourself out into your plank and chaturanga. Inhale into your upward dog and exhale into your downward dog. Cool. From here we're going to raise your right heel all the way up behind you. And then we're going to float your right knee to your right elbow, hovering above the ground for a moment, making the connection. Send your right leg straight back up behind you. Bring your right knee to your left elbow, crossing under your midline, making the connection. Send it straight back up behind you. Bring your knee to your nose. Try and actually kiss your kneecap. Send it straight back up behind you. And then folding your right leg through into pigeon pose. So bring your right knee kind of behind your right wrist, right ankle kind of behind your left wrist. And then wiggle that left foot back so it's more or less center on the mat. Once your hips are down pretty gosh darn close to the floor, you're going to inhale, lengthen through your spine, and then exhale to walk yourself down 
to let your forehead rest on either the floor, or you can stack your hands, let your head rest on that, or if you have a big pillow you want to hug for a few minutes, everyone should have a big pillow they like to hug for a few minutes. And while you're holding this pose, you want to focus on the breath work again. So inhaling deeply, and as you inhale, you create a little bit of space when you draw the breath, the breath down deep into your core. And as you exhale, you just try and soften down into the ground a little bit more. We'll hold here for three more long, slow, deep breaths. And if you're ready, slowly start to walk yourself back up. Pausing for a moment at the top. Take a look over one shoulder for a gentle spinal twist. Take a look over the other shoulder. And then slowly curl under your back toes. Make your way all the way back into your downward facing dog. Taking your time to get there. And then pedaling out through your heels and feeling the difference from one side to the other after doing a little bit of pigeon. Raising your left heel all the way up behind you. You're going to float your left knee to your left elbow, hovering above the ground for a moment, making that connection. Send it straight back up behind you. Your left knee to your right elbow, crossing under your midline, making the connection. Send it straight back up behind you. And then bring your knee to your nose. Try and kiss your kneecap. Send it straight back up behind you. And then folding all the way through into Pigeon pose on the left side. So again, left knee is kind of behind your left wrist. Left ankle is kind of behind your right wrist. And we'll wiggle your right foot back. So your right foot's more or less center on the mat. Once your legs are in your position, inhale, lengthen through your spine, and then exhale to walk yourself down to let your forehead rest on either your hands stacked or on the floor. And we'll do the same thing as spending the next few minutes just trying to do as little as possible. And if you can identify which part of your hips or back or legs are providing resistance, see if on the exhale you can send a little message to that part to just relax and let your bones come down a little bit closer to the floor. We'll stay here for about three more long, slow, deep breaths. And then whenever you're ready, we're going to slowly walk yourself back up. Pausing for a moment at the top. Take a look over one shoulder, gentle spinal twist. Take a look over the other. And then rolling over onto your left bum cheek, bringing your right foot all the way around in front of you and scooting your bum towards the front edge of your mat. We're going to bring the soles of your feet together and kind of walk your bum towards your heels as close as you can get. Kind of flap those butterfly wings, wiggle them side to side whatever you need to do to kind of loosen up those hips. Opening up the soles of your feet, massaging into the arches of your feet, sends a little signal that you love yourself, It's always kind of good. And then closing your toes, you're gonna to clasp your hands over your little piggies, inhale, lengthen through your spine, 
and then exhale, drawing your elbows out to either side, and bring your forehead down towards your toes. And when you're all curled up down here, we're going to take in a deep breath and kind of notice where the air goes when there's no room for your belly to expand. And it kind of stretches out through your mid and lower back. And then on the exhale, you just let your head hang down a little bit heavier. And we'll stay here for three more breaths. Whenever you're ready to come up, lengthen through your spine, rolling all the way back up to center. We'll straighten out both legs in front of you. Moving your uh, butt muscles out of the way until you can find your sits bones firmly on the floor. You're going to push your heels of your feet away from you so your backs of your knees are pressing down into the mat. Inhale, raising both hands up over your head, and then exhale to fold to grab onto your feet. If you can't quite reach your feet, you can put your hands underneath your calves. As you inhale, lengthen through your spine, and then as you exhale, fold down just a little bit deeper. Try and let your head hang heavy here. And doing that same trick with the breath. So inhaling deeply, and then as you exhale, try to soften into the pose a little bit more. You're going to stay here for five more breaths. out, reach both hands out a little bit further from where they are, and then float all the way back up, and exhale, hands down by your sides. Cool. We're going to draw your right heel in towards your thigh, so you're almost sitting on your right foot with your left thigh, getting as close up in there as you can. And then flexing your left toes towards you, we're going to rotate your heart to face towards that foot, inhale, raising both hands up. And then exhale to fold, creating a little basket with your hands, and then hooking it onto that foot. Taking a deep breath, and on the exhale, dropping your forehead down towards your left knee. We'll stay here for three long, slow, deep breaths. After your third breath, reaching both hands forwards, floating all the way back up. Exhale, hands down by your sides. And we'll switch legs. So straighten out your right leg, bring your left foot in towards your groin, so you're just about sitting on that foot with your right thigh. Flexing your right toes towards you and rotating your heart to face towards that right foot. Inhale, raising both hands up. And then exhale, fold, creating a little basket with your hands to hook on towards that foot. Taking a deep breath with a long exhale, letting your forehead drop down towards your right knee. Again, staying here for three long, slow, deep breaths. Done with your third breath, reaching both hands forwards, coming all the way back up. Exhale, hands down by your sides, and we'll make your way into laying down flat on your back on the mat. Just gonna rotate this for a little bit. Cool. So laying on your back, we're gonna find your heels with your fingertips. So your knees are bent, feet are flat on the floor. Once you find those heels, you're going to push off your heels, raising your hips up towards the ceiling. And if you have a block or a pillow, you want to put it underneath your lower back here. You can rest for a little bit of sacral release. If you want to take it a step further, we can interlace your fingers and walk your elbows and your triceps towards each other. So you stack your whole body up off the floor. So we're keeping your pinkies down on the ground, so you're trying to pull your knuckles towards your heels. If you want to stay here, you can stay here. If you want to take it one more step further, use your hands to support your lower back. 
and then kick one foot up after the other to come into shoulder stand. Once your feet are up in the air, you can pretty much do whatever you want with them. Come into a split. In the Bhattakanasana. Any little movements you do are yours and yours alone. We'll stay here for about five more breaths, whatever position you're in. If your legs are up in the air, we're going to slowly bring your toes down to the ground behind your head. And then straighten out your hands, either side of the mat, and then lower slowly one vertebrae at a time all the way down. If your hands are clasped underneath your bum, you can release those. If you manage to find a block or a pillow, you can take that away as well. Cool. Hugging both knees into your chest, giving yourself a little rock from side to side. Massaging the muscles of your lower back into the floor, maybe drawing a circle on the ground. If you find a sore spot, you can stop and kind of massage it a little bit. And then eventually coming back towards center, you're going to straighten out your right leg along the ground. And with your right hand, pull your left knee across your body into a spinal twist and reaching your left arm out to the side. And we're going to stay here for about 10 long, slow, deep breaths. So again, the same principle of bringing your attention back to your breath work. Inhaling deeply and exhaling completely. Hold here for two more breaths. And then whenever you're ready, slowly make your way onto your back, hugging both knees into your chest again. And giving a little rock from side to side. Straighten your left leg along the mat. With your left hand, pulling your right knee across your body and reaching your right arm out to the side. Again, holding in the stretch and bringing your attention to your breath work. here for three more breaths. And whenever you're ready, slowly bring your both knees back into your chest one last time. Hugging your forehead up into your knees, making your body like a little itty bitty seed. And straightening out your arms and legs into your Shavasana pose. Letting your feet splay out open the sides and your palms face the ceiling. We'll take the next few minutes to rest in stillness and silence as you take in the full effects of your yoga practice.
and slowly wiggling your fingers and your toes to bring movement back into your body. Are you on pace? Draw your knees into your chest. Roll over onto your left side and push yourself up into a comfortable sitting position. Letting your hands rest on your lap and your eyes closed. We find ourselves how we began today's practice. And taking a few moments to observe your breath. If anything has changed in the depth and the quality of your breathing and the state of your mind, just simply observe it. And sending out a silent message of love and peace and patience to everyone out there who could use it today. Inhale, raising both hands up over your head. Exhale, your hands into a prayer in front of your heart. And we'll close with a single heartfelt namaste. Namaste, everybody. Thank you all so much for practicing with me today. Hope everyone has a great week ahead. Stay safe, stay healthy. See you on Friday. Fun to meet you.